Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. This is TVT here, and today, first things first, uh, I'm gonna go get the, go try and get that map. Uh, excuse me. No, I have no desire to do that at all. No, I don't want to do that either. Well, first, let's turn on my HUD. Apparently, I forgot to turn it back off while I was taking screen, or, or turn it back on while I was taking screenshots, but, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to go unlock the map so I can actually see where I, what I'm running around on. I was trying to get to the one up, uh, up on the top level. Oh! Oh, somebody's coming at me. Alright, okay, I'll... Ow. And he's dead. <laughs> oh, he gave me clean rock gauntlets. Can I actually wear these? Yes. No, I actually... Well, technically yes, but not real. Oh, God. Okay. I didn't realize there were so many of these. Oh, what? What the? <sighs> oh, I'm in an area I can't use it. Okay, well, that's annoying. What? All right. Oh, it's because I got invaded by the NPC. All right. Hey, whoa, 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 you chill with that millennium BS. And I died instantly. I do get kind of annoyed that it will boot you off your horse the minute you're, like, in an area where an NPC can invade you. And I'm like, I don't want to... And I could just run past her, which is probably what I'm going to do. I just don't... I don't... I mean, I can come back and kill her anytime. I want to fulfill my, my objective first. By the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff it really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Always looking to boost up the channel and all that. But uh, in the meantime here, let's uh, get back to it. Yeah, I'm going to avoid these guys this time. Try and keep out of, uh, out of her way. I will come back and get those echoes, even though they're not much. Actually, I think there's a boss fight up here. Like a, or like a mini boss, kind of. Okay, these guys have a bunch of stuff. We will go back and do the, like, town of, like, the town, Celia town of sorcery, but we're not doing it right now. I want to get this done. I want to get up here. I want to get to this map. Where the hell am I? Well, we're about to find out. Actually, I know roughly where we are. Not where I want to be, though. I actually want to be up here. Okay, here's this. Get rid of the marker. Let's, uh, do this. Map of, This is Kaled. Okay. So we found, like, the lower area here. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is actually the area we want to go to to fight the guy. Uh, fight General Radon. I don't really know if I want to fight him just yet, but we'll see. There's lots of stuff I can do in this area. Uh, firstly, I can die if I fall off that. Don't know if I would, but I feel like I would. So she's going to spawn there, she's going to come running right at me, going to roll out of the way of the fireball. What the? What? Get out of here, you stupid clean rot knight. Kind of forgot he was there, not going to lie. That's a problem. My god, she hurts. Ah! 
Well, if I hadn't died to her there, I would have died to the Scarlet Rot anyway, so. Yeah, I was gonna take that fight, and then I saw the Clean Rot Knight, the first one, and then there's a second one that joined in. Not a chance, like, at least not right now. When I have better gear and I'm a little bit more level, definitely, that'd be a fight I would take, even with all three of them, but... Yeah, as it is right now, definitely playing on the side of caution, which actually is not the best way to play a FromSoft game. Normally, you want to be a bit more aggressive. It's just sort of in my nature, normally, to be a bit more... Okay. Dragonfly thing. Yeah, could absolutely kill that guy, but I don't really care about that, so... See, and we're going to go right back to the town, and hopefully we're going to do that. And then from there, I think what we'll do is um, I'll head upward. We're going to explore that section of Kaelid. Uh, Aeonia, or Aeonia as it's now called, the Aeonia Swamp. And then, uh, yeah. Sorry, just kind of adjusting my chair so I get the mic a little bit better. So I want my audio quality to be good. Okay, here we go. We got this guy here. I wonder if there's a way to, like... Good teamwork there, Chief. Just let your buddy die right there on you. Now, I know the puzzle to this area, and hopefully I'll remember where everything is enough to go get it easily or quickly enough. But, uh, yeah. Basically, there are these things that you have to... Uh, what, what is it? It's... What What the hell is the MacGuffin? I don't even know if it is actually a... the right. That's the right term for MacGuffin to be used there. These little items... Oh... They bells? What are they? Oh, hello! Okay. No. Get out of here. So what you need to do is I want to get to a higher point so I can kind of properly show this off. Actually, here's a good spot to jump off. Can you actually do that? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Yeah, see that tower way over there? And then that one right there? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. I forget what you... Like, what it is that you're doing there. I think you're actually lighting a... Yeah, you're lighting like a like a brazier or something. And we've got a uh, magical, magical fuck-off doll number one right over there, as you can see. There's probably some more of them. I really, really hate these things. <sighs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Let him slide off the thing. I hate the winged ones. They're creepy. Okay, I need to get over there and I need to get up. Uh, what is the best way to do that? That looked like a spot where I would absolutely get trolled and fall off the cliff. And that beetle looks like it explodes. 
I don't know why, I just have this feeling that it's gonna blow up when I try and mess with it. And, uh, I'm gonna die horribly and I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> like I said, I am overcautious when it comes- at least by- by the standards of playing a FromSoft game. These games do tend to reward aggression more- oh, great. Hi. Okay, there we go. I was like, what? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of fighting people on, like, vertical areas, if you couldn't tell. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Really? Okay. Uh, do I have to start all over again? No. Yes. Son of a bitch. Alright. And Charlie is complaining, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, let's, uh, let's get on with it then. Ah. <sighs> Actually, hold up. I can use my horse here. That's good. Now, that's maybe not the most practical solution for this, but it is going to save a little bit of time every time I fall off like an idiot. Whoa, 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 don't overcommit. God damn it. Bullshit. Oh, and Charlie is complaining again. Alrighty. I don't know if you even caught that, but if you did... Uh, we're gonna, tr I'm gonna try to get to a good spot, and then I'm gonna take care of him real quick. I just want to get this done. Like, honestly, it, I, I like a lot of the puzzles in this game. Oh, wow, we actually got here. All right. Oh, I was, if I had fallen off because I jumped off my horse, I would, ooh, some cursing would have happened right there. <laughs> Nor like me dying isn't normally what what makes me angry in games like this. It's when I do perform an animation and the result of that animation is something that in no way, shape, or form would ever happen in real life. Now I don't need every game to be brutally realistic like that, but you know. But yeah, we've got a broken seal here, so we're going to pause and I will BRB. Okay, we're back. Uh, Charlie has been. You know, properly addressed, I hope, and we are ready to proceed. Keep an eye out for danger here. Okay, we're getting these, and by the way, you know, noticed the, the thing earlier that said a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a seal opened up somewhere. Hang on, there's one more of them, and I think it's that tower right there, but I could be mistaken. Actually, I don't know that it is, it looks different. Yeah, but we've opened up a seal. There should be one more question mark. So I'm going to go in that direction, and we're going to check it out. Oh, no, never mind. I see where the last one is. It's right there. See it off in the distance? Right there. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, we're going to get off the horse.
Well, it didn't explode. <laughs> Shoot it. Got him. Double slash. Keeping that crossbow uh, handy was a good idea. Oh. Okay. Where do I need to go? Okay. So that's the thing. What this is? I guess what the puzzle here is trying to teach you, or teach uh, teach the player is is you know look around and see all the ways you could go somewhere like for example if i come this way is this a path yes if i use my horse although not necessary although not a necessary one unless you need to make a jump there Ooh, ooh boy Oh, we got it, we got it. Crisis averted. I wonder if there is any value in going to that other tower, though. Hmm. Well, fuck around and find out, as they say. But I want to open up all these seals so we can find all the unsealed rooms. Now, since I didn't rem memorize their locations, that's going to be interesting. But that's not really why we did it. We also did it to get past the magical seal that would have blocked that door across the way from us. And we've got a thingy here. Staff of Loss. Let's take a look at this, because I've actually been needing a staff. Although I think this one is a little different than a normal... Um, staff missing its glinstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through an a through acts of aesthetic... Asset... That word. <laughs> Only The staff only distinguishes itself when casting invi invisibility sorceries, but that is reason enough for some to wield it. Okay, staff of loss. It's lost the stone, the glinstone that's normally on the pommel or on the tip. Okay, need to carefully kill the... Oh, God. Okay. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so ridiculous. So you saw that, right? Like, the guy's spells went directly through his buddy. It's like, no, that should have hit him in the back. And I am aware that that's just not how the game works, but considering all the creative ways you can use to deal with enemies, I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't. I can understand mechanically why, like it would just, oh, it will make it too easy. I don't think it would make it that much easier, quite frankly, but. Okay, there's Night Comet. That was one of the sealed rooms. Oh my God. And Charlie is complaining again. I let him out, and now he wants to come in. <laughs> I can sometimes with this cat. I love him to pieces, but man, so indecisive. Alrighty, we're back. Let's uh, let's get this on. Ooh, 
Also, you might notice I've uh, changed out my, my wardrobe a little bit here. Got some new drip going. I actually have this right here, the ruler's mask, which gives me a plus one to faith, which is whatever. Um, it doesn't look great, but, you know, it's just something to wear. Oh, great. Speaking of great... I hate these guys. Really? And uh, now I let him in and he wants to go out again. Actually, what he wants is he wants me to pet him and I'm not going to do that. Eh. <sighs> well, let him out. I, I just let him out again. So he did one out. Uh, he went into my dad's room. By the way, if you didn't see the community post, the reason why there's only two videos this week, this and Saturday's ARC video, is because, um, he, uh, last Friday he went through an operation, a surgery, that he needed to get to fix his other medical issues. Or not his other medical issues, but the, the root cause of him becoming sick and being hospitalized in the first place. So, having done that, you know, he's now just kind of been recuperating, and I've been, you know, kind of hanging around to make sure he's okay. But that being said, you know, uh, it's that that's the reason why there's not uh, a full set of four videos this week. And originally I was planning to do four videos anyway, and just decided, you know, probably best not to. Yeah, I, I know, you want to kill me. I don't know why you want to kill me. That's the thing, I, I don't know what reason these guys have specifically to be aggro. See, yeah, that's the trick to dealing with multiple strong opponents. Pull them apart just a little bit. You don't have to fully separate them, but just get one out in front of the other enough to get an attack off. That's why I get... That's another reason why I do get cautious, is in those situations, it's like it helped me keep thinking on my feet, and it's like, okay, this is the situation I'm in, how do I deal with it? Okay, I think this is a boss fight. Or no, maybe it's not. I thought it was. Oh, it is in the mod. Okay. Actually, hold that thought. I'm gonna take... Well, no, let's get to the top of the hill. Yeah. Yeah, just adjusting my chair again. Hmm. Clue? Actually, I'm gonna get rid of some of these markers. No, no, no. Uh, okay. We didn't travel. We didn't travel. Crisis averted. Okay, that's done. Not that it would matter. We're fine anyway. Okay, we've gotten rid of all the markers but one. But, hmm. Note this pile of bones. There's lots of piles of bones in this game, but... You know, why is that there? Why has that been placed there? Well, we're gonna find out. Time for holy. Hmm. Well, that might be a good indicator of why. Oh god, I do nothing. Well, I do if I backstab him. Oh, he does not care about my boys. You know what? Get fucked. I wonder if he drops his weapon. I don't think he does. No, we're not doing that. I almost missed the window, too. <laughs> you 
Yeah, unlike in some entries where you can absolutely kill the skeleton before it animates fully, uh, you can't do that here. Now, we're not gonna need to. I don't think so. Oh, okay, maybe I am very wrong. Maybe I'm stupid. Oh, there we go. Uh, this is the part where I perform the ancient and, uh, tried tradition of running the fuck away. I do that a lot, but quite frankly, I just... I hate battling these skeletons, man. Oh, and we have balls! Note that magic. That'll be important later. It may be important now if, it, if that ever connects. Similar to magic we saw at uh, Rhea Lucaria. Oh. And if we look over here, we have some, some centipede-looking guys there. Probably going to ignore them for the moment. Oh, okay. I'm going to see if I can get around them and get inside that building. Yes, we can hit up that, um... Just get a quick rest off here. I have flasks. Let's add a charge. So my goal for today is uh, to unlock the map for this area too, if we can. So to do that, I'm going to have to find my way up. We're, we're working towards that. But first, we have an NPC to talk to. Who's there? Ma'am, you have seen better days. It matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. I am very much not wise. With scarlet rot. Oh! It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. Uh, what? Hello, controller? Okay, there we go. If you are wise, you will my flesh. Okay, so she doesn't have anything to say right now. Huh. I thought she had more dialogue. You can kind of hear that noise. That's actually supposed to be her coughing. I think it sounds more like a sneeze, like a really weak sneeze, to be honest. Oh, we got another centipede boy. Oh, I get away from that. I can fight them. It's like I don't have any particular reason. Oh. Hmm. We've got some swamp to pie over there. Yeah, those are actually supposed to be cephalopods, like octopus that are fresh water. I call them swamp to pie, though, because they look like they belong in a swamp. Oh, good. Yeah, no. Why are there so many undead here? That's not a question I pose rhetorically. I'm actually asking it. Like, why are there so many skeletons around here? What's causing them to reanimate? Is it the Scarlet Rot? Is it, you know, um, the actual Necromancer faction? Yeah, not happening, Chief. So this is, I believe, either a disciple of or the wizard known as Haima. And let me tell you, Gavel of Haima or Haima or whatever is no joke. Neither is uh, the cannon, which is that spell that he just used right there. I shouldn't need to tell you or I should need to explain which one is the gaffel and which one is the cannon. <laughs> okay, he's down. That's nor Normally he takes me more than one try to kill him, but I'll, I'll take it. Did he give me a spell? I thought he dropped a spell. Well, these are my weapon arts. Uh, no, he did not. Okay. I thought he used to drop um, the, ga the gavel. Oh, well. I 
There is one thing I wanted to do before we end the episode, besides getting the map, and that is, you see that, see that, well, see that big old dragon right there? Yeah, we're gonna kill that. That, that kaiju-sized dragon, we're gonna kill it. How? Uh, I'll show you. And it involves, uh, a spell that I do have in my possession currently. Uh, it may also involve some, uh, some blood, uh, anything that causes blood. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this out. There's lots of, lots of these smaller dragons here. And I'm, I think the implication is, as you'll see when we get to her, that, or not when we get to her, but when we get the spell that she gives, that, uh, you get, that's like her specific draconic spell. Um... You know, she is Grail, uh, mother of all of these, this type of dragon that you see. These are not ancient dragons, these are like a more modern dragon. I don't know if she is an ancient dragon, though. Just like in the Dark Souls uh, games, there are two types of dragons, in quotes. There are the uh, wyvern-like, uh, this type, similar to the drakes that appeared in Dark Souls 1 and... 1 through 3, I believe. I think they're called something else in 3. I think they are just called dragons in 3. But, um... And then there are the four-winged ancient dragons. That have, you know, uh, actually have eight limbs, more like a spider. Because they have four... They have two sets of wings. And you'll see this right here, Grayol here, is, is not having a good time. She has... I don't know if it's because of her age or because of her, um, or because she got hit with the Scarlet Rod at some point, but she seems like she's, like, fused into the ground here and can't move on her own anymore, which is very unfortunate. I don't know what the lore on, on, on her is, like, why she's here, and she, like the other non-ancient dragons of this area, does not actually have, uh, uh, four, like, um... Uh, four wings and, uh, four limbs. Actually, the dragons in this game, the ancient ones, as you saw in, uh, uh, two episodes ago, actually, uh, the, what we saw that, uh, what was her name? I forget. Um, I'll either post, uh, I'll either put it in the, in a little text card or I won't, where it, that was, uh, that was an ancient dragon. It had two pairs of wings. That's fine. But it did have the the, ba the classic dragon body plan of four limbs, of six limbs. Two of which were wings and two of which were legs. And four of which were... God! Wow! I am not having a good time. I'm just... Man, am I not on it today. Okay, drawstring fire grease. We have rot grease. Okay, that's the one I have equipped. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to equip the rock grease. I'll see if I can proc the scarlet rod on it, on her. I don't know if I can. Because this, this one has a lot of health. I also wonder if she's immune to the scarlet rot. I don't think she is, but... No, she's not. Oh, did we get it? Yes, we did. Now, that roar has a debuff effect on me, but if I'm not mistaken, it also causes every dragon in the area to start looking for me. So, that's important to know. Although, it really won't matter for this. But yeah, we're just going to be pecking away at her for a while while the, the health ticks down. You can already see she's got over 10k <laughs> HP, and that's barely the start. She, this, she has a lot of HP. Here, we're going to apply Poison Grease now. See if I can get double status effect on her. Just keeping my wits about me in case another dragon whips up. 
thing is, it'll be hard to tell if I get this, uh, the poison stat on her because I can't see the little cloud that usually indicates that. But I can see the rate at which her HP is falling has just gone up drastically. Now, there is bleed grease that I absolutely should go get for this. That would be much better here for this specific situation. But since I have two poisons, it should be fine. Yeah, that dragon right there is, is looking for me. You can see she's she's got a lot of HP. She really does. Here, I'm gonna summon the rot pupper. Maybe get the rot pupper to actually attack the dragon. Which the Rod Popper probably won't do. I don't think so. No, it's just gonna it's gonna start patrolling. <laughs> okay, more of this. You can see why normally what's recommended is the bleed grease, by the way. Um, because that allows you to just to drain a percentage off her health every time. I mean, when you proc the bleed. Oh my god, the dragon, the, the dog, the dragon's actually attacking the, or the, wow, the dog is attacking the dragon, oh my god, ah, English, words, hard, ah, uh, alright, we'll try this. Doesn't have any status effects, but that's fine. Well, the dragon, or the dog was attacking the dragon. It's not anymore. Just FYI, we might not be able to finish this this episode. This is going to take way too long if I don't have status on it. So I might need to go back and get the blood, get like the bleeding grease. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is going to take way too long. So I think we'll save that for, we'll say finishing off this boss for next episode. Yes, this is actually a boss fight, by the way. <laughs> Somehow. But yeah, we're going to call it here. And uh, yeah, I think that was actually very successful. We accomplished everything I wanted to do. And uh, yeah, managed to fully clear Celia. And uh, I was actually, I was waiting for a really annoying boss to pop up, but that did not happen. So I'm happy. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed it, do me a solid again. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I will catch you lovely people on the next one. And this has been TBT, signing out.